Now, like we mentioned before, you could just poly reduce down to a game resin. Let's go ahead and do that for our headgear. So I'm going to hit tab and type in poly reduce. And we're going to drop our headgear right into that. And we're going to go ahead and hit visibility. And now if you want to just kind of play around with this, you see percentage of input polygon count, we can just take this slider and just drag it to the left. And you're going to see it's going to update on the fly with new polygons. So we can dial that in. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is if we're going to be putting a variant of this asset through, we can actually have Houdini tell us, you know what, what makes the most sense to game res this object? And how we can do that is with this continue reducing within quality tolerance. So I went ahead and put this percentage back up here to 100. We can go ahead and turn that on. And you're going to see by default, uh, it's got this 1E05. And that gives us actually a pretty good game res, maybe a little bit high, depending on which, where you're seeing this. If you're going to see it in engine running around from like third person, um, it's probably a little bit high. But if it's going to be more of a cinematic asset in the front end, this actually might be A-OK. -okay. Now, if you did want it to make it a little bit higher, you could turn this uh, to 0.6, or let's change this to 4. And you're going to see it's going to automatically game res this down uh, to something pretty appropriate, I think. Now, it's not going to do it symmetrically across an axis. So one thing you can do on this one is hit tab and type in symmetrize. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And by default, for some reason, uh, it does it across the Y axis. Let's do it across the X axis. Just hit 1. And you can do it across the positive or negative. So if you type in negative 1, that's basically the same thing as doing a mirror and weld in uh, ZBrush. So if you see one side that you like more, you can go ahead and use that side, so you can do the negative x-axis or the positive x-axis. They don't have to do that, but uh, in this case, it doesn't hurt anything. And it's another node we get to talk about. And actually, before we leave this one, uh, the reason why I like this poly reduce with the continue reducing the con within quality tolerance is if we put a whole bunch of different types of assets that we want reduced down to approximately the same density, this is what I like to use. If I put in a percentage or if I put in a uh, percentage is OK, it's actually better. But if I put in like an output polygon count and say, I want this to be 500. Well, if I put in a more complex headgear, it's always going to reduce it to 500. And I want this to be this graph to be as reusable as possible for all sorts of different variants. So if I get some crazy headgear in here, maybe it needs a thousand. But if I wanted the polygons to be about this dense, I can use this to uh, make smart decisions for me. Uh, moving over here to the eyes, let's go ahead and hit tab, and we'll do another quad remesher. So type in quad. Go ahead and drop this in. And again, let's go ahead and go with symmetry across the x axis. And for our target quad count, we can drop this down to like, I don't know, 200. Yeah, it's a little low. Let's go 300. There we go. So you can have some eyeballs sitting in there. And, if, and again, even if you put up to like 500, if you go and you minimize mouse click here, it'll cap itself off. It looks like at about 300, so uh, this will work out just fine. 